This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman World News Report today, May 12th, 2024. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. We've had yet another X-Class solar flare. Yet another X-Class flare. What region? 3664 is still producing X-Class solar flares. A flare is an eruption of energy from the sun that generally lasts minutes to hours. Flares of this magnitude are not frequent. The flare peaked at 1626 UTC time or about 1230 Eastern time. Users of high frequency HF radio signals may experience temporary degradation or complete loss of signal on much of the sunlit side of Earth. Now we have some more bad news, but we also have some good news we're going to cover. Again, NOAA Sunspot Region AR3664 just produced another X-Class solar flare. Headed over to GOES X-Ray Flux, we see the X-Flare that they're referring to. It's an X1.01 solar flare, and it happened about 1700 UTC time, as discussed. Peaked about 1730 UTC time, and since then we've had a fairly strong M-Flare. It looks like it measured around an M4.8 maybe maybe even an m5 something close to that now believe it or not they believe that a coronal mass ejection was created and that it could give earth a quote unquote glancing blow so we'll have to see what that means and if that extends the solar storm any longer the good news here is that ar3664 has almost made it around the limb it should be the last day we have to deal with it the bad news is is we have quite a few other sunspots uh, and we'll count them all together that are earth facing currently with several that have just come around the limb we have six four six nine twelve earth facing sunspots ending in three six seven nine being the latest name sunspot group that I did warn you about yesterday. All right, this is still part of the bad news. We're still under a polar cap absorption event with protons pouring in mostly the northern pole. Obviously, the sun drags the earth, pulls the earth, so most of the radiation logically would be coming in the northern pole. And that's the M flare that we've just had that we just talked about. Uh, so the bad news is we're still in a polar cap absorption event and everyone's getting a full dose of radiation. Now for some good news. Now for some good news. It appears that we've actually exited the geomagnetic storm for the last 12 hour period. Now we do expect to enter another geomagnetic storm as some of these other chrome mass ejections impact Earth. But for now, we've had a 12-hour break. That's definitely good news. We'll take a quick look at NOAA's forecast and see how close they got. So, this is NOAA's KP Index Breakdown Forecast for May 12th, 13th, and 14th. And they didn't do a great job, but they did determine there would be a break in the day. We're expecting, again, at least two more coronal mass ejection impacts. I guess later this evening and into tomorrow the 13th and then they're even calling out a G1 geomagnetic storm on the 14th. Now I don't know if any of this will happen. They have this going back up to a G3 probably based on the large X flare we had yesterday. Uh, that would occur again on May 13th and again they did forecast a break. They just didn't get it lined up perfectly if you will with that said yet another x-class solar flare from air 3664 
God bless you and yours. Please share, please subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world.